Drug Sons for Review. I'm Steve. I'm Mike. Go Dodgers. <laughs> Dodgers suck. <laughs> and tonight, We're still in the playoffs. Cubs aren't. Hey, but oh. in one more series. <laughs> I'm happy. Uh, tonight we're going to do a review of Sombra. Yeah, it's Sombra Mescal. Uh, this is uh, another one that I'm bringing to the uh, uh, brew review uh, to uh, Steve's Garage. And uh, this was uh, actually, uh, mescals were introduced to me about three years ago. Uh, Shreveport, Louisiana. Uh, I actually became friends with a casino host. And uh, he used to uh, try to influence me to try different things. And he got me to, he knew I liked uh, whiskeys and he knew I liked scotches. And he had asked me if I had ever tried a mezcal. Now, if you guys know cheap mezcals, mezcal is usually what everybody thinks of as the tequila with the worm at the bottom. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. just, you know, parliamentary tricks, parla whatever you want to call it, tricks. I can't think of the word. But anyways, exactly. um, it's 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 more about the novelty of drinking the uh, the worm. The thing is like cheap, um, cheap tequila. Yeah, but if you get into higher end mezcals, mm -hmm. um, these are not for shooting. They're not for shots. They're not for margaritas. This is about pouring yourself a glass, sitting down, you know, neat, drinking it like a scotch. It, um, it's not a tequila. Uh, do not confuse mezcals for tequilas. Tequilas tend to be uh, very smooth. They tend to be a little bit sweeter on the tones. And I think uh, to be a tequila, you have to be brewed in certain states in Mexico. Uh, blue agave. Uh, you have to use blue agave in order to be a tequila. If you want to be a mezcal, uh, you can use different varieties and typically the better mezcals use wild agave um, and then what they do is they actually brew these typically in pits underground um, and then what they do is they take uh, wild roots uh, wild herbs and they package it in, in bags and they drop it inside the brew so it gets a real hearty smoky taste so if you are used to drinking tequilas and hey let me go have a Patron and take a shot this is a totally different yeah. spectrum of flavor, so don't confuse the two. That's a waste either way. So, so, so this is 45% uh, alcohol by volume, so it's 90 proof. Uh, let's see. We already uh, opened up four and took a couple little drams out of it just to, to get the flavor. Again, it's, it's just like I'm going to sit here and just sip on I'm not going to take a shot. And it is very clear. It's, now is this chilled or room temperature? That's room temperature. Yeah, this is a room temperature. Just again, like a, you know, something that's in your cabinet. A very clear, almost uh, being definitely tequila, vodka light. Very clear. Um, See, mm. the initial when you first smell it is like oh, tequila. But yeah, you but maybe you coffee. stay there just for a second. Then back behind it comes this the, whiff of smoke. Yeah, well, it's almost like a wild smoke. Yeah. Um, you can tell there's some there's some some flowers in there. There's something in there that's, that's driving it, but you can really it's, start to get the, the it's, smoke hints. It's definitely like a tequila and a Lagavulin had a master step <laughs> Now, for those who don't know what a Lagavulin is, that is a very, very super extreme smoky scotch. Yeah, so a, definitely a Lafroy. He uses all these fancy terms that I can never repeat. It, it's very, the, the, so the first, it, it's weird because first time I did got it, I got the tequila, I got that agave, I got that mm -hmm. smell. But now every time I go back to it, the yeah, first I thing I get is the smoke. Yeah, I don't smell the, the, the tequila no, anymore. No, the first is smoke. I got past so, it. If I was blindfolded a couple times, I'm thinking this is a scotch. I'm thinking this is a very smoky, smoky scotch. But then there comes a the flavor. And I'm thinking tequila with a little bit of smoke behind it. It's a it's a it's a dry tequila. It's yeah. not sweet and savory and smooth. It's dry. Um, compare like a, a sweet wine to a dry wine. Think of the difference in the spectrum. This is a dry, but it, what's weird is I, I can feel the heat and the smoke, the, but it hits me right here. Every time I drink a mezcal, it hits me right here in the jowls. I didn't get this one right Now, 
I will tell you, the one thing about a mezcal that I've learned that's it's, it's unique, because I don't get this when I drink scotch, is when I'm done drinking it, I'm still tasting it. I, I mean, it, it's, it's as if it's still in my mouth and I'm still drinking it. It is, it's there, it sticks with you. Yeah. So. Drop his ice in. So now we're just gonna drop a cube in it. Um, again, some people will take a, and drop a little bit of uh, ice in there, a cube in there, just to kind of mellow it out. Yeah, I'm kind of curious, because the aftertaste I do get is that little um, burn of the alcohol. So I, yes. I do get the burn of the alcohol and the aftertaste. Um, you get the, I, I do get the, I want to say it's like a, like a sweetness up front with the smoke and then the burn. So let's see how the, uh, see how the ice tames it down. So I still get the smoke. The smoke's even more. Up front oh, whoa. that actually intensified the smoke. Yeah, the smoke I don't get any tequila not, smell. That's all smoke. Yeah, the smoke is more prominent now. Very, very, very prominent. Okay, so the ice, the it, ice brought out the alcohol to me. So I get that little burn. Now see, when I exhale, I feel like I'm breathing smoke. Yeah, I get the burn and the smoke. Any, any sweetness, any. But it's just very mild. It's just very, it's, it's just, it's, if you have any issue with drinking it up front, put a cube in it and it just mellows everything else out. I'm kind of the other way around. See, I, I don't think it, the alcohol burn, I think it's gone. I thought it brought, I think it brought out the alcohol burn more to me. Hmm. Yeah, I think it brought out the alcohol burn with maybe a little bit of sweetness on there and then the smoke comes right after it to kind of hide that, but you still get the alcohol burn to me. Yeah, but now when you just kind of sit and relax your palate, I'm picking up some like, I can't even quite taste. I don't know how to. It's not sweetness because the smoke's there, but there's a sweetness on. But it's not. It's not sweet. It's um. It, 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 like I said, it's like wildflowers or something. I can't put a, a flavor to it, but it, it's something very unique that you don't get when you drink tequila. But the smoke is there. I mean, it's very. So we're going to now. So we did uh, neat. We put ice in it, and uh, Mike looked it up and. The suggestion was put some ginger beer in it. Ginger beer. So we're gonna do ginger beer. For a mixer. And I'm gonna drop another ice cube in mine, maybe two. And I drop one more in mine. Just to make it a true mixer. Just to see if that ginger beer kind of changes it, plus the spiciness of the ginger beer. I'm hoping it kind of brings out uh, some different notes, some different things to it. I mean, it kind of does make it more cloudy, so you can definitely tell us uh, it's a mixer, and mine's probably going to be mixed with more of the mics. Uh -huh. How much alcohol is in ginger beer? None. None? Mm. Just a flavor, huh? Yeah, it's just a, the ginger. Boom. Definitely tamed. get the ginger. Yeah, tamed it, tamed it down. You get ginger and smoke now. That's And what's funny, because I am not a huge smoke fan in scotch, but I love smoking my mezcals. Okay, so I'm going to do something real quick. Just a little bit more of this, and just a touch of this. Want some ice? Yes. Two. Sure. I'm, I'm thinking something here. Do we need to touch more of the scallop? No, no I'm, I'm thinking I here, because I think there was quite a bit of that. See, I almost drank all mine, so I'm just going to put a splash in the scallop mine. There we go. Just enough to... That's it right there. Wow, that is a refreshing mm. drink. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Man, I could sit back. This this is something I could fill a Yeti, throw a ginger beer in there, throw some mezcal in there, and go float on a boat, man. Because the ginger beer, Whoa. I like putting the ginger beer in like a jalapeno margarita because that little, the bubbly spice that comes with it, like kicks out the, uh, the jalapeno heat. But then you get the ferment, and then you get the smoke finish, and man, that's nice. It's just tames down the smoke enough to bring out everything else, and it is pretty, pretty damn good. Ooh, almost dropped the F bomb on your own recording. Mm -hmm. This actually is, this is really good. 
the ginger beer complements this very well. Very well, it is because, like I said, the normal tequila tends to be smoother and sweeter. So because of that, sometimes mixing in with the ginger beer, you need some lime juice to kind of target yeah. it back up to get rid of all that sweetness. With this, because there's so much smoke and, and, and fermenting on the back end, the ginger levels it out and you don't need that lime juice on top to change the contours of the drink. This is, this is pretty good. I'm kind of glad I looked at it. <laughs> <laughs> Discovered a new drink. Okay, so, so I guarantee you would like this one. So, so. and ginger you want because it's carbonated, and you, you definitely get the carbonation. Yes, you, you do get some very bubbles. Carbonated, but it is actually damn, it's damn good. All right, so Sombra Mezcal, forty-five percent alcohol. I give it a thumbs up. I highly recommend it. Yes, very drinkable. So um, me, I give it a. Oh, before you rate it, that was sixty dollars for that bottle. Sixty. Okay. Sixty. So that was sixty dollars for that ball. I give it an, eight, an easy eight. The only reason I don't probably go higher is the the um, kind of the smoke and the um, the sweetness, the separation. You get one and the other end. I'm not a fan. Something about that that made me a fan uh, to get it higher. But I'm a fan. Love it. Now uh, guys, he's never he's not a tequila guy, so this no, is new to him. So this, this is, is coming from an amateur that's never nah, this is really tasted good. this stuff. I'm doing like tequila shots. I give it an eight. Me, I give it an eight. Okay. Now, I do have one advantage over Steve. I have drank several mezcals. This one here, because I have tasted a little bit better quality for about the same price range, knowing a little bit more about the mezcals, I am going to give this one a seven. Okay. Now, guys, understand a seven in the grand scheme of things is not a poor rating on alcohol. That's, that's pretty good. That, it, it's pretty solid because my seven may be your eight, maybe your nine. Yeah, I probably over I'm not trashing it, throwing it a three. It is solid. Would I buy this bottle again? Absolutely. Yeah, um, I would buy this bottle. It's got great smoothness, it's got great um, smoke. While it has a lingering taste, some of those cows that I've had before, literally, I mean, they just coat your mouth and they just hang with you. And it's an amazing, amazing experience for about 30 minutes. The uh, the way that it just kind of hangs with you. The it's only, one of the things I fell in love with it. The only other mezcal I've ever had was actually a mezcal with a worm in the bottle of it. And that's probably junk to $15 bottle. Yeah, it's junk, guys. You're just, all you're trying to do is just drink the worm so you're going to get buzzed yeah, off of worms. Cool. So, all right. So, you're, I'm a seven, you're an eight, neat. Now, with the cube in it, at, you know, at, at a nice cube. Do you I'm gonna drop it down to a five. Um, I was a little disappointed. It, it it lost the attributes of the mezcal of the reason why I'm drinking it. It, it lost everything. It just smoothed it out. Um, it, it took some of the alcohol burn down for me, but it also took out some of the smoke. Now I will tell you when I smelled it with the ice cube, it just exploded smoke because it, it completely kills the tequila. Um, I'm shocked you said that because I give it a three. Okay. I was. I did not like your dice in it, and I think a three is being nice, just because when you put the ice in it, just the um, the aroma that I got from it was still pretty good. But I didn't like your dice in it. I, I thought the ice destroyed it. Yeah, it, it it's it's yeah. That, it, I, I can see where somebody may like it or not, but it, for me personally, yeah, yeah, so it's, a, a, it's four, like a four or five to a three, just from the ice cube. But now, I'm gonna tell you, if you put two more ice cubes in it and you drop some of the ginger beer, I'm bringing that up to a nine. Yes, that is a fantastic summer drink. Hanging out the pool, hanging out. The, it was really good. Guys, this is something I would actually prefer to drink over a margarita. Yep. Um, because it, it, it has, it's everything's level. There's no tartness, there's no sweet. It's just level and it's it's a great finish. But um, I'm a fan of the, um, the um, I'm gonna go Blamo. nine on mine. Yeah, nine. With the ginger. Um, the uh, Blamo, Blamo, whatever you want to call it, with the grapefruit in it. Do it with that. Just go with this. Just throw, throw some uh, mezcal. This mezcal. Ice cubes, ginger beer. Be done with it. Done. This is actually pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Well, taught him something new tonight. Taught you guys something new tonight. So, guys, do us a favor. And I definitely recommend going out and get the, this mezcal. I recommend it. Yes. Just don't f it up with some uh, ice cubes. Yeah, don't don't drive by ice. Just put a splash of water in. You don't nah, need it. All right. So neat. 
I'm a seven, Good. you're an eight. Good. Good. Uh, with the cube, Damn. no way. I'm a four or five, he's a three. Ginger beer? Ginger beer, two way thumbs up. up. Uh, I got a nine on that. So do us a favor, go get yourself a bottle, take some taste, mm -hmm. try it the different ways we did. Put your opinions on the video. Let us know what you guys think. And if you guys have anything else you guys want us to try, put your comments in below. That really helps us out in uh, discovering new flavors. Give us a like and a uh, comment, subscribe. And uh, for Drug Source Reviews, I'm Steve. I'm Mike. Peace out. Go Cubs. Dodgers! <laughs>